Um, there's a bit of excitement amongst the team. Uh, it was nice to have a break over Christmas and it, it just got everybody more enthusiastic and, and keen to get back at it. Um, it's even better that we're uh, bringing some new players in. It just lifts everybody's spirits and creates a bit of excitement amongst the group. Let's talk about the youngsters. Uh, I've got two new faces potential for their first caps. How big of an impact was uh, the South American leg for them? It was excellent. Uh, we sent down a, a strong team on paper in terms of experience. Um, they struggled, they came up against some well organised uh, national teams who spent a lot of time together and as always we suffer from dropping a, a group of random players in and expect them to, to work at a high level. But for individuals it's important and um, a few young players put their hands up with some good performances. Brock Webster has been outstanding since we brought him uh, over to Langford in September. He, he went with Kingsley down to South America with the 15s to have a look. He's, he, he came here as a sevens player and his sevens performances so far have been so good that I, I really feel I, I need to take him on one of these trips. Cole Davis has got 15s experience, he's already got test caps. Um, he was outstanding down in South America and he brings that that je ne sais quoi to, you know, he, 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 he's not um, predictable, he's strong, he's quick, he's agile and I'm looking forward to seeing him perform um, down under. Got two players returning to the roster, Mike Fulafau from Rugby World Cup 7s and then it's been an entire year for Phil Berna. How are they tracking? Well again, e even more exciting is bringing back two players um, with experience to the group. They've been out, particularly Phil, for such a long time. It's almost 12 months since uh, Phil played. He's, he's an exciting player and um, I've got high hopes for him and I don't want to put too much pressure on him because it's been such a long time out. Mike Fulifau has been a mainstay of the 7s team, particularly since I've been here. Um, and to have him back his experience, he brings that, um, that rugby uh, IQ that, that very few players have on the World Series, so I'm looking forward to seeing him back as well. Three injuries, Lucas Hammond, Harry Jones and Admir Chivanovic, as, long as, as well as Andrew Coe not available yep. playing with the 15s team. Talk to me about the roster and your thoughts leading into the two tournaments. Well, Harry was almost ready to go, and Harry's been, a, again, another mainstay of sevens long before I arrived. Um, he'll be ready for Vegas and Vancouver. Lucas Hammond had a serious injury in um, uh, Cape Town, Dubai. He'll be back probably for Hong Kong. Admir will be, be back available for the next leg too. So um, that's three experienced players who will come back into the, into the group over the next uh, few weeks, months. Um, but outside of them, we've got, we've got some other exciting young players, Quinn and Guati. Cooper Coates, David Richard, There's so many uh, young players putting their hands up and we, we have others who are training with us through the academy system that Rugby Canada are trying to bring in. So in terms of sevens particularly, we've got some fabulous young players ready to go.